I'm Ron Stoddish. I'm CEO and President of Aqua Bounty Technologies. Uh, it's been my job to, to bring Aqua Advantage through the regulatory process and hopefully introduce it to the American consumer. The Aqua Advantage product is, is a fertilized salmon egg, which will grow uh, in about half the time compared to a typical salmon to market weight. And the egg is produced by normal breeding of a line of salmon that we've developed at Aqua Bounty. The initial founder fish, which was the fish to which we added the Aqua Advantage gene construct, was created back in 1989. Over 25 years or 12 generations, we've been breeding that fish uh, with the exact same properties as the original founder. So uh, the FDA's approval and the approval by Health Canada both state that this is equivalent to the traditional food. So the opportunity to produce a fish in land-based contained aquaculture systems with known performance and in an environment where there are no medications used, uh, there is no poisoning of coastal waterways, no pollution of, of environmental and ecological sites, um, is, we think, should be an attractive attribute. Uh, unfortunately, because this is a new product, um, the public hears from people who oppose this technology that it's dangerous, that it's unhealthy, uh, that it will somehow harm them. And nothing, in fact, could be further from the truth. Aqua Advantage is probably the most studied salmon in history. Um, in the course of our development program, we measured essentially everything that you can measure in a salmon. Uh, we compared behavior, we compared uh, health of the animal, we compared physical characteristics, we compared how the animal swims in the water current, uh, the animal behavior, predator avoidance, as well as the composition of the flesh. In animal agriculture, we are the only approved product, uh, the only approved food animal. And so the opportunity for improving protein production from animal livestock whether it's in aquaculture, uh, terrestrial production in poultry, swine, and cattle, is enormous. Opportunities for improved uh, production techniques, uh, the dehorning of cattle, for instance, which is an animal welfare issue, uh, the reduction of, of salmonella, um, the opportunities for application are similarly almost endless. But the only product that's been approved to date using this technology has been the Aqua Advantage Salmon, and that's still being opposed by a number of these groups. The labeling issues in the United States are among the most controversial and emotional issues that, that we face, and we face many issues. We're soon to be, uh, you know, uh, nine billion people on the face of the earth. Uh, we will need to grow over the next 20 to 30 years uh, our ability to produce food perhaps by as much as 50%. We'll have to do that at a time when terrestrial and oceanic resources are limiting. Uh, there's no arable land to uh, expand and explore for production. Uh, so how are we going to meet the food needs of the future? When you add to that the developing emerging middle classes who are demanding higher quality diets, how can you meet those needs? And the only answer that I'm aware of is to produce our food more effectively, more efficiently, and more sustainably. And in order to be able to do that, we will have to use the same technologies that we, we have available to us today and, and meet those global food security needs. Otherwise, someone's going to have to either eat less or food is going to have to become a lot more expensive. And uh, I don't think any of those uh, sort of choices are, are very palatable uh, to either American consumers or, more importantly, consumers in, in other countries around the world.